So what's the difference between ID, access, refresh, and session tokens? So these actually belong to three different protocols. Uh, one is OpenID Connect, where we give ID tokens back to the client to figure out who they've just signed in. Uh, access tokens are part of the OAuth2 flow, which we give to a client once they ask to call a resource or in a web API on behalf of the user. The client doesn't actually have to know what's inside of the access token. All they have to know is that it's a valid blob that they can send to the resource to call the API successfully. Once it makes its way up to the resource, the resource is able to look inside of that access token, figure out who the user is, and perform whatever action they were asked to do on the user's behalf. Now, refresh tokens are also part of the OAuth2 flow, and they're given to the client. The client uses those to refresh or get new copies of the ID token and access tokens um, once those have expired. They only last for about an hour, whereas uh, refresh tokens can last effectively forever. Um, this is really handy because you can use them to get multiple access tokens um, using a single authentication. So you keep using uh, the refresh token to get a new access token and a new refresh token. You use that new refresh token to get another access token for a different resource. And that's because access tokens are only good for a single resource. Uh, refresh tokens actually function a lot like a session token as well. Session tokens are not really part of OAuth or OIDC, and instead are just a implementation that sits on the login server that says for websites, hey, this user is signed in. So the next time you make a request in the background to get new access tokens, uh, we look at the session token on the login server, figure out, yep, this user's session is still valid, you can have the access token back.